y'all thought we was done with Jay. I don't think we can ever be done with Jay because Jay is just a whole daggone soap opera, honestly. But let's hear what they got to say, child. I apologize for not entering some of your lives as a whole man. I apologize for not honoring some of you properly as women, and especially the mother of my children. <laughs> mm, it's not funny, y'all. It's not funny. Y'all, Jay and his 34 kids and his 17 baby mamas is the gift that keeps on giving. Now he's supposedly uh, uh, apologizing and the looks on these faces don't look like they trying to hear it, child. Let's hear what else is going on. This is titled, A Father of 34 Asks for Forgiveness. So I humbly ask for your forgiveness, but you don't have to. It's your choice. I would like to change the trajectory of some of our children's lives. I'm gonna now he want to come in and change trajectories, trajectories, child, you know what I'm saying, of the children's lives. How can one man be in 34 kids' life? How do you deal with 17 different women? I'm going to be the best dad, friend, and father that I can be to my children. And with that... I would just like to say one. Wait a minute. So one, two, three, four, five. This one came out of nowhere. We ain't seen her. So they got five here now. This is mom, Ianla. This is dad. And this is one of his kids back here. Just to let everybody know who in the room here. Just like the same one stepping up to the plate. And this is coming from the great man that I am today. Now, everybody has something that they want to share with you, Jay. Jay. Y'all know I got to interrupt because it's Eon, let's the own network, but Jay sounds like he's just saying, yeah, I said it. That's it. That's all. It don't seem like he's got any like empathy behind it, any feeling behind it, any, any, what is the word? I don't want to say sympathy, but it's like he's laying it on the table here. You either take what I say or you don't. That's what I'm hearing. It's not sincere. That's the word. It doesn't seem very sincere. I love you, but I am no longer willing to tolerate the manipulation. The manipulation, y'all. The manipulation. The lies or you being in the middle. This woman is really, really, really in love with this man or whatever she considers love. She is breaking down every time we hear from her and that's fine right but lest we not forget that there are 17 women and this woman is one of three that was pregnant at the same day on time by this man and then she had another kid afterwards and she really thought that she was in a relationship with this person i don't know how but she really thought that she was in a relationship with this person but i say all that to say that Women want to say that it's the men, it's the men, it's the men. And listen, Jay don't get no passes here at all, okay? Jay was playing, being a player, whatever you want to call it. He was using his looks, I would assume, and his fast talk, and I'm assuming maybe he got some money. And he was finding these women who would fall for it. And then we have this line of women who fell for it. And fell for it over and over and over again. With the exception of a few who only had one kid with him. But ain't no way I'm having one kid with no man that already has at least five. Ain't no way. And that's a lot. So how does that happen? You know, these are the discussions that women don't want to have. And I'm saying women because I'm a woman. And I am trying to get some of these women to see that it don't matter what he look like. It doesn't matter what he says. It don't matter about his hair, his pretty hair, his bow legs. That stuff don't matter. If a man is out here having 34 kids irresponsibly, let's take it back to him having 15 kids. And he ain't marry nobody. He ain't trying to be in no, no marriage with no one, no type of commitment. Where is it in your mind that you think that this is okay, that this makes sense, that this is a good option? 
some people will say that it's self-esteem and maybe that's what it is. I don't know. But it can't be just blame, blame, shame someone else, especially when you go back and do it again and again and again. I forgive you for bringing all this confusion and chaos into my life. Listen to she. This woman is hurt and upset. And I can understand it. I really can because she's wasted so many years. I forget the ages of her children. I believe she has three or four with him. And the thing is, is that these women, from what I understand, this is just what I understand. I could be wrong. Only have children with this man. <laughs> I'm not saying that's good, better, and different, but it's like you they're committed to this man. They're trying to have relationships with this man. They think that they have something above the others, which reminds me, one of the women is missing. So that's a, that's a, a, a sixth one, I think, that was on the show at least. She mad at her best friend. Her and her best friend both got kids with this man. This is the stuff that I'm talking about. This is the stuff that I want females, women, girls, ladies to understand and see. You can go ahead and blame him all you want to. And again, he is not absolved. The problem here is, is that women will fall over another woman to get to a man that ain't no good to begin with and then say that it's his fault. Where's your responsibility here? Where are these women's responsibility here? You see what it is. You hear what it is. And you still go back. And you still go back. That's a problem with you women. That's not on him. He going to take it however he can get it. He going to say whatever in order to get whatever from any woman, which 17 at least, that's not even the one, ones that didn't have kids. And then he can just go around and pick back and go back and pick back and go back. And then this woman right here is going to say that the things that he said, why would you believe him? That's what needs to be looked at. That's what needs to be understood. That's what needs to be figured out. Clearly he's lied. Clearly he said whatever. Clearly he's done whatever. And you go back and you go back again and again and again. That's what needs to be resolved. That's what needs to be looked at. That's what needs to be understood. We understand Jay. I understand Jay. He going to F whenever, however, whoever, at any time, and he don't give a damn. That's easy. That's the easy part. He ain't sugar, honey, iced tea. But why do you go back knowing he ain't sugar, honey, iced tea? Just because he said something? Just because he's cute? Because he got pretty hair? Because he bow-legged? I just don't get it. And it's my kids. It's our kids' lives. They did not need this. I agree. The kids did not need this. But this is what the kids have. And we need to, as a whole, try to figure out why it is that women will betray other women in order to get to a man. And now as he ain't no good, he ain't no good. You're no good. You're no good. But then we'll get mad at that when it's obvious. Two best friends had babies with this man. Three women pregnant at the same time then went back and had another baby with this man because he said he y'all was trying to work on a relationship. Where's the personal responsibility? When is that going to be looked at and reviewed and understood and figured out so that it doesn't happen over and over and over again? What chance do these kids have? We just talking about the odds right now. Do we think they're all going to grow up to be successful doctors, lawyers, and, you know, professionals? I'm not saying that they're not going to be successful. All I'm saying are, what are the odds? The son that's here, the son that's here has got a girl pregnant and ain't married. So the cycle continues. When we going to, when we going to stop this cycle? Instead of instead of going ahead and acknowledging what is wrong, what women are doing wrong, where their responsibility lies so that they can change for their children and the next generation. It's just blame a man, blame a man, blame a man. And that's not working. 
Again, Jay ain't sugar honey iced tea, but it's clear that Jay isn't sugar honey iced tea. And yet somehow, some way, 17 women allow 34 children to come out. Make that make sense. That's it. That's all. If you made it this far, I do appreciate you. Please consider subscribing. I will see you all in the next one.